Welcome friends to the Mark Thomas Home Builder Show. Today I'm going to show you a GE oven and wondering if you've ever seen something like this. This happened to me so I thought hey why not look into it and make a video. So if you open your oven, has, that, has this ever happened? You look in, let's see the lighting's not really great but um, yeah, right there you have this that take this back out of the way let me grab it and zoom out a little bit this honeycomb looking almost like a catalytic converter kind of thing like, I, like cars have if you have something like this I will show you what's going on with that it's a vent tube smoke eliminator and I'm going to take the camera off the tripod and I'll give you an overview. Okay this is my GE self-cleaning oven or is it, oh, there it says GE and it's electric so if I lift this up and you see this is where let me grab this, this yellow pen this will act like a highlighter this uh, hole right there that's actually a vent tube and inside that vent tube is this honeycomb smoke eliminator so I call my local appliance place and guess what they stopped making the part so I'm gonna see what I can do to fit that back in there this has a little bit of damage on the side but I'm gonna see if I can turn it I'm gonna disassemble this and that's just you can see that pen goes right through there it's just a hollow tube that lets the heat out and if I have this in there that'll help keep the smoke from rolling out so what I'm gonna do let's go under here yeah, it's hard to see but there's two screws on that part right there that's part of the tube I'm gonna take those two screws out and then I will show you what I have going on Okay, I took the two screws off here. It's a very sunny day, but that'll help. You can see this is the vent tube, and if you look through that, you can see some little dimples. This is the top part that stuck. Oops, I gotta back this up. This is the top part that sticks out of the oven. That's the bottom part, and I'm gonna just see if I can replace this back in there and align it and turn it so the dimples right there will hold that from falling through so I'll come back and show you the results okay I had some luck I was thinking these dimples on the top part were the ones I had to get past but actually on the bottom there's only one little dimple and what I did let's see if you can see here I pushed this back in where that little uh, chip part was out and I lined that with the dimple, pushed it in, and then used my fingers to rotate the honeycomb about a third of a turn. And it looks like there's no reason I should, even if this part were available, to spend another 20 bucks. It looks like it's good to go. It just needed some adjustment. Um, that appears to be almost like a ceramic kind of piece, so there's probably a likelihood that that could break. So... Um, luckily it was just a little chip off the side and I'm going to put it back in and my next video I'm going to do a self clean of the oven so I'll show you what this looks like back in. Okay here's the final result I did screw that tube back in place let's go up top here and the tube is in let me see this is going to be kind of a tough angle my camera barely fits but yeah you can just see the honeycomb thing yep so that's in there all right so I hope you enjoy this video all right so there you have it hopefully this video helps you uh, be able to reuse the parts that you have since they stopped making that part the tube assembly maybe you could still at least get that uh, that smoke eliminator part so if you enjoy this video please comment right down there please give me a thumbs up or subscribe Thanks for watching. Have a great day.